Hi guys, welcome back to The Vanity. So today what we're gonna do is another declutter series. If you've seen this intro before, that's because I'm using it for all of the rest of my declutters. I just, the rest of my makeup, I'm just kind of wanting to go through drawer by drawer or sort of product bunch by product bunch and it may not be enough to do a full video on. So I just wanted to film them and then I can add them all in um, if I want to or break them up. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's just go ahead and get started. So first off, I know I'm going to get rid of this uh, Revlon Colorstay eyeshadow quad. I did use it quite a bit, as you can see, but I just don't use it that much anymore. These are pretty standard colors, and this was when I had a much smaller makeup collection, so I'm definitely going to get rid of that. Uh, this Ulta was like a free birthday gift thing. I think I'm going to pass this on. It actually performs pretty well and I like all the colors in here, but I just don't find myself reaching for it. I definitely reach for palettes more frequently, so I'm going to get rid of that. I have this e.l.f. glitter primer. I really haven't used this much and I don't have a lot of glitter, but I am going to keep that. So in here I just have all of my eye primers. Okay, and I have one from Jessie's Girl, a couple from Lorac and Milani. I don't actually really use the eye primers at all. I am going to keep the Lorac and the Milani, but I think I'm going to pass on the Jessie's Girl one. So then we have a bunch of mascaras, and these I do believe have all been opened and used, so I can't pass these on. What I know I'm going to get rid of is this Rimmel one and this NYX one, so I'm going to get rid of those. I have this L'Oreal Miss Manga one. I love this formula. And this is actually in a really cool color. And coming up on spring, hopefully I'll use that a little bit more. Then these are pretty much the same, the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I'm going to keep those. And the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar, I believe this is. Yeah, and it has like the fibers on one side and then the actual mascara on the other side. Uh, it still seems good, so I'm going to keep all these. And then I've got just some random, like, eyeliners and shadow primers, things like that. So this one here by Tarte, I'm going to keep. It has a gold glitter liner on one side and just a metallic liner on the other. Kat Von D and Trooper are going to keep this L'Oreal Infallible Paints. I really like that, so I'm going to keep that too. And then this e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one. There's nothing wrong with it. I just already have a bunch of eye primers and I don't use them. Then we've got this Grande primer. Uh, it's a lash primer. I think I'm just going to get rid of it because I'm keeping the L'Oreal one. And this was a little sample guy. It has a rubber wand and it actually is kind of hard to get in and out so I may just toss it. It might be bad. I've got a tiny little sample guy of the Balm Bahama Mama. And I'm just going to keep it because I haven't really tried it out yet. So a friend of mine gave it to me, but I just want to try it out and maybe I'd like to buy the full size at some point. Okay, so then I've got some e.l.f. smudge pots. These I really enjoyed at one point and I used quite a bit. I think, yeah, this is the purple. As you can see, they're very nice and pigmented. I think likely I will keep all of these if they're all still good. Yeah, and as you can see, I used this brown one quite a bit. Those are the smudge pots. I'm definitely going to keep those. Okay, and this little section here that you see this has, these are all like sample size mascaras that have not been opened. I am definitely going to keep all these. I have Urban Decay Perversion, this Sephora one, I don't think it has a name. Oh, Lash Craft Length and Volume. And then I have a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, a Lancome Hypnostrama, the Lorac Cobra Mascara, then a Makeup Forever Smoky Exaggerate, Exagger, no, I don't know, and then a per, uh, Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged, and then I have an Inglot Duraliner, I'm going to keep that as well, so those all just hang out there, I really don't need to take them out because I am going to keep all of those. So I have all these limited edition Wet n Wild palettes. I think for sure I'm going to declutter this one. I don't really use it. I thought that I would and I just I just don't. So the white actually here in here is really nice. It's uh, really bright and um, it's a really great inner corner highlight, but I just don't reach for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. This one I am gonna keep in California Roll. I actually really do use it and I love all the colors in here. 
This one I'm kind of torn on because I really like sort of the greens that are happening here, but I don't really use these two and the white in here is pretty good. So I think I'm going to keep it, see if I use it, and um, if the next declutter comes around and I haven't, then I will get rid of it. But for now I'm going to keep it. So then in this little area I just have some loose stuff that I have. Uh, looks like these are all Bare Minerals. And I have um, this color in Thank You, which is like a brown, a nice crease shade. I'm going to keep that Summer Bisque. I believe this is a concealer and it is pretty much empty and I think it's very old so I'm going to get rid of that. Got this color in Celestine, I believe, and it's a really pretty sort of taupey shade. Keep that. This is in Nude Beach. It's a small sample guy. Also just a really pretty shimmery, taupey, a little bit lighter. This one is in Champagne. It almost has a little bit of like purple pinky reflect in there, really keeping that one. And then we have uh, Rose Radiance. This is actually a blush, so I'm going to move this to a different uh, drawer. And then I have all these uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro shadows. Or I guess they're not Infallible Pro, but the Infallible shadows. I am going to keep all of these. I actually really like them. I just don't use them as often as I should. Then I have this uh, Coastal Scents Purple. I'm going to keep it. It's actually a really nice uh, purple. Actually, once I swatch it out... <sighs> no, no, let's see next to the L'Oreal one. Yeah, so because I'm keeping this L'Oreal one, I'm going to get rid of the Coastal Scents one because that L'Oreal one is definitely more pigmented. Then I have this other one from Coastal Scents, and it's more of like a peachy pink, and I'm going to keep that one, though. And I had a brand send me these, ONB, I believe. Um, I actually haven't really heard much from them. I did reply with a video that I used them in, and I never heard back, but this is a glitter and a purple eyeshadow. I am going to get rid of this purple eyeshadow because it just isn't super pigmented and it's a matte purple, but I'm gonna keep the little glitter. Then I have this Jessie's Girl. It was a sample I got in a subscription box. It's just a nice brown. I'm just gonna hang on to that. And then I have all these pure uh, pro glitters. I'm going to keep those. Um, these ones were given to me by my mom. They did give me four for uh, promotional, but I actually kept those for a giveaway. So these are ones that were given to me by my mom for Christmas. And then I have this NYX glitter. It just says uh, number 12. I don't know what shade it is. It's kind of like a purpy purple, like gunmetal type of color. Okay, so here I have like all my e.l.f. Uh, shadows in pots and my ColourPop stuff, some Milani things. And unfortunately, these, I they're really good, but I just haven't used them very much. Single shadows are just so hard for me. Yeah, they're really, really nice. I think, though, um, I think, though, I am going to pass these on just because I don't use them that much, and I know someone else can use them. So we've got a ColourPop shadow in uh, Doe Deer. This one I know I'm going to keep. It's like a dark... Uh, sort of wine type color. And then we've got a Super Shock Shadow in Slay. It's like a glittery gold. Do I want to keep that or not? I don't know. It still seems pretty good. So I'm going to keep that. Ooh, these are messy. This one I know I'm going to keep. It's one of my favorites. It's in Partridge. It's like a that green brown shift. And it still works really good. Then this one in silver, I'm going to keep that. It's not called silver, it's called Liberty. But I know I'm going to have to start using these or I'm going to have to get rid of them because they're going to start to dry out. But look at how pigmented that is. This next one's in Drift. I'm going to keep that too, I'm not going to swatch it. And then this one, oh, is, is really pretty as well. This one's in Bay. But as you can see, this one broke up on me. Yeah, and it's very dry. It's very dry. I might have to look up how to salvage this, otherwise I'm just gonna get rid of it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to toss it. It's very pretty, but I, 
it's not worth me saving it. And this is a little sample of the new Dude palette. It's just one color. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I have this NYX shadow in Punk Heart. It is a purple. I am going to keep it for now. And then I have all these uh, e.l.f. long-lasting lustrous eyeshadows. I believe they still have these on the website. I only have three now. Um, this one's in Gala, which is like a brown. And then we have this one, which the color came off. Same with this one. So let's just see if they are dried out. That one seems okay yet. <clears throat> This one in the middle seems okay, but it's definitely drying up around the edges. To be 100% honest, I just don't use these anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and give them to somebody else before they go bad. All right, then we've got this Maybelline color tattoo. I actually thought this one was gonna be a shimmery one, and it's not. And I haven't had it that long, and it's already really separated around the edge here, and it's completely just dried up. So I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. And I just have a random Sigma gel eyeliner, and I'm gonna keep that. And I have a Laura Geller baked eyeshadow. I'm gonna keep that. So in here, I know I'm gonna keep all of these. These are just some loose eyeshadows by e.l.f. I don't even know if they make them anymore. But I have a caffeinated, um, bronzed, uh, Partier, which is a matte, Wild, which is a matte as well, I believe. And then we have Innocent and Enchanting. They're all just really nice um, loose eyeshadows. Then I have these, which are their baked shadows, and these, which are their pressed mineral shadows. They don't even offer the pre pressed mineral shadows, I don't believe, on their website anymore. Um, this one is in Disco DJ. It, uh, I don't know, it's an okay color. This one it doesn't have it, a color name, but I'm going to get rid of both of these. And I am going to keep these. I do really like those. Maybe I'll put them over here. And then I have this little Pixie Apricot Glow. It was a sample that I got in a subscription box. I think I'm gonna pass that on. So that is it for this drawer, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put all my things back in there, and then I'll show you the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Okay, so this is not the coolest or cleanest bin, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the makeup that I'm getting rid of in here, and just so you guys can get a visual of that. So these are all the goodies that I'm getting rid of from this drawer, and then these are all the goodies that we're gonna keep from this drawer. All right, guys, that concludes this declutter episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you do wanna be notified for my videos whenever they upload, I'm sure you've been told by every YouTuber, but just ring that little bell, and YouTube will send you notifications on my videos, and I hope you guys do that. Thanks again for taking time out of your day and watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.